In this presentation, we're going to demonstrate the automated HMI example that's installed with the opcsystems.net product. Under the program group opcsystems.net, you'll find the automated HMI application. This application is designed to automatically set up data source configurations, data logging, trending, alarm limits, and then the HMI clients will automatically adapt themselves based upon what data source is defined. So with one click of the mouse, we'll be able to automatically add a filter bed to the application. If we select Edit Filters and then Add Filter, we see that a new filter bed is added to the tag configuration, it is set up for alarm limits, it is set up for trending, and we see the result of the HMI now being updated here. If we launch a second example of the automated HMI application, we see that it reads the tag configuration from the data source and automatically displays the one filter that was, has been added. Now if we come back and add another filter from either of the applications, we see that both applications update themselves automatically. So you can see that applications could be running locally or remote and be automatically kept up to date with the very latest data source configuration and operator interface information that is set up in the data source. I'll add a few more filters here we see that we're getting some alarm indications on the operator interface. We can open or close any of the fill or drain valves of any of the filters and we'll see those as you click on those you'll see the update uh, in both applications. If you select the trend tab you'll see that there's real-time trending for each of the filters both for the turbidity and the flow rate of each of the filters and under the alarm tab you'll see real-time alarms for each of the filters for both flow rate and turbidity. Under the setup tab you can enable data logging and that will uh, automatically add data logging groups and the tags for each of the filters to be logged and it will log it to the SQL Server engine that you specify here in the SQL Server name. You can also do remote connections to remote network nodes to review the automated HMI example code, visit the website automatedhmi.com. There you'll see an example source code download section with a download button, and that's where you can download the Visual Studio 2010 code. Let's take a look at that code. So we had the add filter button, and when a user clicks on that, we're going to call the method configure OPC systems and this is a routine that has been set up to automatically configure the tags. So here in the routine configure OPC systems we see that we're creating tags programmatically just by assigning the tag CSV import method and that's through the OPC systems component. The OPC systems component is free to use and it's also well demonstrated in the WinForm example code if we take a look in the program group opcsystems.net, we see the WinForm example code right here. And there you'll see other examples like configuring recipes, reports, data logging, alarms, security. Every single configuration attribute of the OPC Systems component can be modified through the OPC Systems component. And once we've added the tags and define the alarm limits. The next thing is it would automatically add the form for the filter bed, one for each filter. Here we see the method add device where it's adding a filter to the main window. And if we look at the code for the filter bed, there you see the HMI controls are set to the tag names based upon which filter it is that we're adding. So the device number ranges from 1 to 25 depending upon how many filters you've added and so the code for each of the filters is the same it's just this variable called device number which represents the filter number that is being added to the HMI application. We also see a routine called update pens that's a method in the main window code where it's updating the trend window for each of the filters for both the flow rate and the turbidity. So here it's setting various pen attributes based upon color, description, engineering units, and its originating source. And then it's setting the pens property based upon the pens array that we have defined. The pens property is in the OPC trend control. 
If you have more questions about the automated HMI example, visit the website opcsystems.com. Under the Contact Us page, there you'll find our contact information along with a link to request a free product demonstration.